All right, what's going on guys? Hope everyone's doing good. Today we're talking about a pair of Jordan 13s. Low key, I'm a huge Jordan 13 fan. Got a bunch of pairs here I'm gonna run through real quick, show you what I've got in the stash. But most importantly, we have a pair of Jordan 13s that are dropping this coming Saturday, September 18th. You probably saw the thumbnail. You had to have saw the thumbnail. So a huge thank you to Jordan Brand for supplying these shoes and letting me give you guys the early look. And also a big shout out to Soul Savvy for sponsoring this video and hopefully giving you some tools to cop the shoe if you're interested in it. By now, you guys have heard me talk a lot about Soul Savvy, but if you're unfamiliar, it's an online platform that gives you accurate sneaker release info, add to cart links, and sneaker monitors. So if there's a shoe that is up and coming that you wanna cop and you don't know exactly where to buy it from, you know, for me, I was relying on the sneakers app, Champs, and Foot Locker, and that's a recipe for disaster. Honestly, you guys know that I never hit on the sneakers app ever. And that was one of the places I was relying on copying shoes and it got very frustrating. So Soul Savvy can help you out because it can point you in the direction of a lot of online retailers that you might not look to. The places like Shoe Palace, DTLR. And even if you do shop there, navigating those websites, no disrespect, can be pretty difficult. I'll go on to DTLR and be like, all right, where do I go from here? I go to the Jordans and hopefully they pop up, but Soul Savvy makes it easier for you. I know the Lightning Fours that I did a video on, just like this, people had a lot of success at DTLR through Soul Savvy. That just wouldn't be the place that's on the top of my list to look for for Jordan Retros, but it worked out for a lot of people. So if you're interested in finding out more about Soul Savvy, you can check down in the description. I'll link them for you guys. But most importantly, we gotta talk about this shoe and how you can style it. Because Jordan 13's, a little bit bulky. They're not like Jordan 1's, 3's, and 4's. This is a bulky retro basketball shoe, but I'm low-key a huge fan. I've got a bunch of pairs. I'm gonna run through some real quick here. You might think, oh, all 13's come in this gray box. No, no, there were some, some older Jordan 13's, like these breads. Not even the newest edition, just an absolute classic right here, man. These things are so tough. When this Celtics colorway dropped, I knew that I had to have it. One of the biggest sleepers and probably, I don't wanna go there, I don't wanna go there. But top three, top three Air Jordan Retro for the fall, in my opinion. These Wheat 13s, the Flax, come on, man. These are so good, this shoe is, is so dope. People slept on these, they still do. One of my favorites. But most importantly, let's get into the rest of this video. Let's throw these on feet and give you a better look at them. This is just how I style Jordan 13s. The way you do it might be completely different. Maybe I give you an idea or some inspiration here. If not, it's just entertainment and thank you for tuning in. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up for me. And I also always post my Jordans on Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there. Let's dive into the rest of this video. Okay, first up, just a nice casual summertime outfit. I know we're getting ready for the fall, but for some of you, it's still warm where you're at. It's still warm where I'm at, but my mind is thinking fall. So I wanna throw in just one warm weather fit and then we'll throw a couple fall ideas in there as well. This one, I just got a vintage t-shirt on, Duke Blue Devils. Got this off eBay, I had never seen a t-shirt like it where the graphic just wraps all the way around the front to the back money. This tee is one of the better finds I've had on eBay recently. And anytime I wear something vintage or thrifted, I feel like it's appropriate to throw on a pair of Umbros. These are the most recent ones I did, the shark shorts from my charter fishing collection. They're in this glossy navy gray color and I think it just works perfectly with a little bit of the sheen that's on the leather of these Obsidian 13s. I got some crew cut Tommy Hilfiger socks on here. They're white. If I'm not wearing the Nikes, I'm typically wearing the Tommy Hilfigers. And just a tip for some of you guys, the inner lining on these 13s is white. So if I don't know what color socks to wear, I usually match the inner lining of the shoe. So if it's black and the shoe is mostly black, I'll go with black socks. But more often than not, I'm rocking the white socks. 
if the inner lining is red or a bright blue, I'm not wearing a red or a blue sock, I'm just going with white. So when I'm deciding between white or black, that's how I decide. And then this time of year, I'm typically over the summer where it's been hot for so long. So anytime the temperature drops under 70, I'm looking to throw on a layer. No matter what it is, a windbreaker, a flannel, a hoodie, sweatpants, I'm looking to add something to my outfit always. This flannel is a gem and I'm gonna do a whole video on flannels this fall, so keep an eye out for that one. You see the red and black buffalo plaids, now a lot of yellows, some maroon, but the fact that this is kind of a summertime color on a true flannel, that's what drew me into it. That's the first look, let's keep it rolling. Okay, so this one is a fun twist on a sweatsuit. I've got pastel colors going on right now because as soon as the weather gets a little bit cold, it still might be summertime. You know, you might not be ready for all those fall colors just yet. So a pastel sweatsuit, like what I've got going on right now, might be perfect for you. This sweatshirt is from Carhartt Work in Progress, which is an elevated version of standard Carhartt stuff. It's got a pocket on the front, that classic Carhartt patch, and then obviously it's in this light blue color, which is not something you would typically see from inline Carhartt. So that's why Carhartt WIP is really one of my favorite brands because they do stuff like this. It's just the simple details. And then the sweatpants are my own. They're a cuffed vintage jogger style, which is what I prefer in sweatpants nowadays. Just that classic 90s style cuff. And obviously it's in this light pink color. So pastels throughout. Here's why I think this outfit works with these shoes. The colorway itself is not that loud. So the statement piece of this outfit, I would say, are the sweatpants because you don't see this color that often. And then the colors on the shoes, they just complement the rest of it. And because the shoes are a little bit bulky, I think it works well with sweats, especially these where they're not super tight. They aren't tech fleece. They have somewhat of a relaxed fit. They taper down so you can see the whole shoe, but these aren't that extra skinny fit sweatpants. I wear this type of thing very often to start off my day. Whether I'm going to get a breakfast sandwich, a coffee, an acai bowl, going to get a haircut, which I need bad. Sorry about this head of hair. I need a fade pretty bad. This is the type of thing that I'll wear. Let's get into the last look. Okay, and then last up, we've got a look that kind of meets in the middle between streetwear and menswear, right smack dab in the middle. And that's where I find myself often as far as style goes. I've got a nice classic pair of slim fit navy chinos. And then up top, I have what I would consider a streetwear piece from Polo Ralph Lauren. It's a denim varsity jacket, button up front closure, and then it says Polo across the front, stitched in there. I've been looking for designs that have a little bit of a twist, just like this denim jacket. It's perfect. It's classy, yet it's bold, if you know what I mean. There's a few stripes throughout the jacket, and I think that gives it more of a menswear type vibe. But really where you get that more grown man look is from the pants. These are slim fit chinos. They got a little bit of a stretch to them. They're from Everlane. I've talked about these before in previous menswear type videos. Not sure if you guys tuned in. I will uh, try to touch on that more throughout this fall season, more menswear type stuff. But why they're important is because they're a slim fit and they go over the top of the sneaker. You know, with jogger pants or shorts, you can see the Jordan 13 tongue. It's big, it's puffy, it's got a jump man on it, it stands out. But with these pants, you kind of cover that up. When your pant leg sits on top of the shoe, it can give it a totally different look. So this combination I really like and the pants are just as dark as the obsidian on the leather of these Jordan 13s. And then I've got a Braves hat and a gray tee to make it just a little bit more streetwear. This look is where you find my style. If I had to sum it up, right in the middle of streetwear and menswear. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. Be sure to check the links down in the description. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you wanna see more outfits like this. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.